almost his last. First few moments, I was trying to keep my balance. It was okay for about 10 seconds. Then made a tremendous mistake. I let my legs drop underneath me. To my horror, I found myself tumbling towards earth. The two trainers were trying to get to me. One of them managed to get to my back leg. And just as he managed to get to my back leg, I managed to get hold of the ripcord and pull it. And with a great sense of relief, I was hurtled up into the air. That wasn't so frightening, but actually getting back in that plane again, climbing up again to 12,000 feet, and sitting on the edge of the plane and going the second time was terrifying. <laughs> I then did my, by far and away, my best flight. But what I did not realize was that my hand was not going to the ripcord, it was going to the release button, which, would, which got rid of my parachute. And the instructor on my left was smiling because he could see I was doing it correctly, but he couldn't see where my hand was going to. The instructor on my right was shaking his head and trying to stop my hand when I couldn't work out what he, what he was meaning. In fact, I was so pleased with myself. I finally took my hand down, pulled what I thought was the rip cord. No! Branson pulled the wrong cord! In Lifestyle's exclusive stop action, you can actually see the chute leaving. His instructor's pull on the reserve saved his life. Anyway, I now feel I can almost go for anything, and I'll, I'll, feel, I'll feel good about it compared to that. Oh, yeah? Well, amazingly, there was to be an even closer brush with death. As final preparations were underway at the launch site, one crucial test remained. Anyway, just um, one thing that's obviously critical when, the, uh, when we touch down is that the four bolts which attach us to the balloon explode and uh, cut us away from the balloon. And uh, this is just a quick test to see if it could go. So, five, four, three, two, yeah. Yeah. one. Ready? No. Sorry. <laughs> The little hitch proved very prophetic. Yeah. Branson's mum put on a brave face as her son waved goodbye. Despite a year's preparation, despite Lindstrom's expertise and Branson's millions, both men were gambling the ultimate wager, their lives. As the balloon left the ground, a ton of propane fuel fell off. It was too late to turn back. The daredevils were on their own, and all anyone could do was pray. Propelled by the jet stream at 140 miles an hour, the Atlantic crossing took a scant 31 hours, and they made landfall in Ireland. But their luck had run out. Those explosive bolts that went off late didn't fire at all. As they desperately dumped propane tanks, the balloon dragged the capsule out over the Irish Sea. Lindstrom leapt 60 feet into the water, but with his weight gone, the balloon shot back up into the clouds with Branson still aboard. Thinking his friend had died from the plunge, Branson spent two terrifying hours contemplating almost certain death by jumping into the water. Below, Lindstrom struggled to stay afloat in it. Suddenly, the balloon plummeted into the cruel sea, and split seconds before certain death, Branson jumped clear. Both men were plucked to safety and into the Guinness Book of World Records. Branson was philosophical about death's close call. A lot of people, as, as children, have boyhood dreams about what they want to do when they grow up. Most people are unable to fulfill those dreams. Um, I'm in a position where I can fulfill those dreams. I know that I would regret, you know, regret it if I were a grandfather one day and uh, got my grandchild on, on my knee. If I tell him, well, I had all these opportunities and I said no. Lifestyle salutes Richard Branson, the millionaire daredevil, and we promise to be right there with him on his next challenge. He's the mogul who gambled the one thing money can't buy, his own life. Ahead, it's strictly A-list in Prince Renier's Monte Carlo party for Hollywood's elite. Plus, Milton Berle's pioneering television days when shows were a real hit. Stay with us. Lenscrafters has a better way to make your glasses. Our laboratories are right here in the store, so we can custom grind your exact prescription in about one hour. Listen.
We had them faster and didn't have to wait. The shortest time and the best pair I've ever owned. Eyeglasses within an hour and very good quality. Got them in an hour. Go in and get a good pair of glasses in an hour. Lens Crafters, quality eyeglasses in about an hour. 12 Bay Area stores including Concord, Hayward, Menlo Park, and San Francisco. Now open Sundays. Call 800-541-LENS for one near you. Another 30 seconds of common sense. Presenting the Hyundai Excel GL. Priced under $7,000 and expertly outfitted with tinted glass, analog quartz clock, rear window wiper washer, power sunroof, AM FM cassette stereo. Not only is this XLGL less than $7,000, but there are seven XL models priced under $7,000. White coats not included. Test drive an XL at your Northern California Hyundai dealer. We sell cars that make sense. Lunch? I grabbed a pizza. Lunch? I grabbed a burger. The American Dietetic Association says vegetables are an important part of a balanced diet. Lunch? I grabbed a hot dog. No, vegetables have a V8. When you can't get to eat vegetables, you can drink them. One delicious glass of V8 juice provides a serving of vegetables. Thanks for putting me straight, Laura. Drink V8. Keep your diet straight. Regina proudly announces the discovery of something obvious. If you take the best part of this vacuum cleaner yeah, and stick it onto this one, you get something much better. Introducing the Regina Housekeeper. Housekeeper. It cleans floors and then switches instantly to clean here and here and everywhere. Accessories cost extra, but you'll never touch a vacuum again once you get a housekeeper. Francisco. Some say the city always had the Midas touch. Since the gold rush of 48, young men have gone west to strike it rich. Their modern day counterpart is easy riding entrepreneur Richard Thalheimer. I came to San Francisco originally because I wanted to be where I thought things were happening. And it's so true that, that in many ways California and the Bay Area are places where trends start. I was a uh, a young person, I arrived in San Francisco, I wanted to make a fortune, and I love toys. Thalheimer wasn't toying around when it came to getting rich. He sensed a lifetime fascination with gadgets, had more than playful possibilities. So he focused his marketing talent on the adult market, and in 1971, formed the Sharper Image, a retailing empire with positively Roman designs on the world. Every adult really likes to play with toy products or frivolous products or fun products and our lives are so serious that it's really great to be able to take a moment and stop and look at something that's fun and evaluate it and enjoy it. Richard's groovy gizmos include toothbrushes, robots, high-tech vacuum cleaners, and high-tank fish bowls. Just about anything that trims, tans, or tones the body is part of Richard's sharper image. I always ask myself about a product, is this something new, is it something that people want, is the price right, and quite frankly, is it a product that I would like to own? And that's the ultimate standard. Hello, this is Richard at the Sharper Image, may I help you? At his Marina Side Retreat in Northern California, chic Marin County, the man with a taste for top people's toys lives the good life. His multi-million dollar mansion is impressive outside, but check out the treasures within. A devoted wine connoisseur, he owns a better stock seller than many top restaurants. And because the boss gets the pick of his electronic empire's huge inventory, home is a playground of weird and wonderful gadgets, including his 1981 bestseller, The Gravity Glider. By flipping upside down, the blood goes to your brain and sort of supercharges your brain. It cleanses all the materials out and brings fresh oxygen in, and it's just a great experience. The product is a little crazy, and people are a little skeptical of it, but that's the way it is with a lot of products sharper than cells. And my job really is to try all of them, and I keep the ones I like the best. Richard's hands-on business savvy extends to product meetings where he plays with each new toy. The goodies are only shipped out after he gives the okay. They are shipped to his 50 stores around the country and added to his mail-order catalog. You always have to maintain your enthusiasm if you want to be successful at anything in life. 
And that's the way I feel about my business, is that I love the products, and I love the toys, and it's always fun to play with something new and to see the next thing. I remember as a child, I got tired of my toys very quickly. My parents would complain that they'd buy me something, the next day I'd be tired of it. I think I'm still <laughs> the same way today. My mission in life is to pick out these fun products and these toys for grown-ups, and I like that mission. The ultimate payoff for the innovator who came west from Little Rock, Arkansas, is his private collection of big boys' toys. His pride and joy is a 1962 two-seater Mercedes, but when he's really in a rush, he takes his Piper Malibu six-seater aircraft. I started piloting airplanes about four years ago because it seemed like that must be the ultimate toy. And in many ways it is because the Piper Malibu, for example, is about a half million dollar airplane. It seems like there's two types of people. There's the type of person that likes to make money by not spending any. They save it. Then there's the type of person that likes to make a lot and spend a lot. By spending it, I enjoy all the different things there are in the world, and then I understand what it is that other people might want also. So for me, I have to enjoy spending the money. It's a brutal job, but somebody's got to do it. Founded in 1978, the Sharper Image mailing list now reaches 3 million high-profile customers. It's the ultimate treat for dedicated fun and games people. No matter how successful you get, you must always realize that staying hungry is really important so that you never get complacent or start relaxing if you want to keep being successful. And to any real entrepreneur, continued success is the stimulation. To me, it feels like I'm just beginning. And that's the attitude that I want to keep, but it's the attitude I actually have. And I'm not even making it up. I just feel like I'm beginning tomorrow. And that's going to make the next 10 years pretty interesting. Richard Thalheimer proving that it pays to play. History in the making. Since a generation howled at the antics of Mr. Television, he has remained the nation's funniest relative, Uncle Milty. Milton Bowe forged a golden era during the 50s and single-handedly ensured America's Tuesday nights at home were never a drag. Thanks a million. Long before television was in its own infancy, Bowe's star potential glittered. Somebody said, he should be a boy model, he's kind of cute. So I was the boy model for shoes. I was a kid actor, and my mother was, of course, you know, a detective. She was in the New York Police Department, she was a store detective, and she neglected her work, and she started to push me and push me, and she made uh, Gypsy Rose Lee's mother uh, look like Mary Poppins. Damn, talking about being a stage mother, and everything was Milton, Milton, Milton. Once he'd wise cracked his way into Hollywood, it was movies, movies, movies. But he still kept bringing down the house on radio with his own brand of laughter. His sponsors, recognizing untapped potential, asked the young comic if he could translate that burlesque sense of humor into a brand new medium. I was on for Texaco on radio in 1947, and they wanted to go on television. Did I have an idea? And I said, well, the only idea I have is something that I've been doing all my life, being master of ceremonies and working with each act and clowning with each act and doing shtick. So we just put that on television, had the cameras just pick it up. America ate it up. Texaco Star Theater was thigh-slapping, gut-busting, good-natured humor. And Bo became the clown king with one very special fan. One thing I must tell you, you'll hear a laugh in the audience, a big guffaw. That's my mother. You may have children of your own one of these days. Devotees who never stopped mourning the Star Theatre's passing now have a second chance to see his classics in a 1988 television series. So a whole new generation gets to see the real golden moments from television. I've got young people, 14 and 13 and 15 and 16, say, hello, Uncle Milty. And I say, well, where, the, where the hell are they? How the hell do they know Uncle Milty? And it's handed down. Yeah. And it's handed down to the, from their uncles, their aunts, their mothers, their fathers, their older brothers. When Lifestyles returns in a moment, the bedroom joke that backfired. Plus, Milton Ball's lifetime with the Friars Club. Stay with us. Extremely gentle. Extremely beautiful. Extremely pure. 
extremely lush. CoverGirl introduces extremely gentle mascara for sensitive eyes. Irritant-free, gentle enough for contact lenses. And so easy on the eyes. New extremely gentle mascara in regular and water-resistant formulas. It's the sensitive side of CoverGirl eyes. <laughs> Old Squarehead laughed at my odd diamond head, but he couldn't clean better or more comfortably. So he left, and Peggy moved him. Colgate Plus, the odd-looking, super-cleaning, comfy-feeling toothbrush. Tired of finding the powder you use to clean your dishes on your dishes? Get liquid palm olive automatic. It pours easily and rinses so clean, you'll want to throw a party. Break away from powders with palm olive automatic in new lemon, too. Look, they're my parents, and I tell you, they're acting different. I mean, they go dancing. Herbert and Jane dancing. I know, Mother thinks it's fun. She wears eye makeup now. I don't know what's gotten into them. Hmm, who says this? Mm. Why don't they act their age? To help them get more out of life, people are eating better. Some have found Kellogg's Product 19, 100% of 12 vitamins and minerals. Feel good about yourself. Tennis? They don't play tennis. Feel like 19 again. Northern bathroom tissue has a special kind of softness because it's quilted. And you can feel the difference quilting makes. Northern, quilted for a special kind of softness. When a big mess is inevitable, would you want an ordinary paper towel or the biggest paper towel you can get? Brawny, the big top towel. While the popularity of cocaine has been on the rise over the last five years, so have some other things. Cocaine-related emergency room treatments, up 300%. Cocaine-related deaths, up 323%. And thousands of lives down the drain. Now, if for some reason you weren't aware of all this, welcome to the glamorous world of drugs. George Burns might have made a name as the oldest cigar-smoking comic, but Milton Bell, pushing 80, was never far behind. He's puffed in peace since he was 14, but since his headline heart surgery, Uncle Milty has gotten a whole lot of flack from his fans. A lot of people that I meet, uh, we heard that you had a uh, quadruple bypass and uh, quadruple uh, heart surgery, and. Uh, that was a couple of years ago, back in 1985, and you're still smoking cigars. Uh, I, I don't think you should smoke them. People come up to me and ask me that. Well, uh, I say to them, are, are you a doctor, <laughs> lady or man? They say, no. I say, well, I have a very good doctor, and if he tells me not to smoke cigars, I won't smoke them. Though serious about humoring his heart back to health, Irrepressible Milton relies on more than a quick one-liner to stay in top shape. Give me 495, please. Since my okay. open heart surgery, I do a lot of exercising. I was upstairs in my uh, room uh, and my gym upstairs. I have a uh, an exercise cycle, and I exercise about 20 minutes a day. I, I keep healthy by keeping good hours and eating certain foods and uh, not overeating and getting a lot of rest. I get a lot of rest. Uh, but his humor remains tireless. Imagine the surprise of Cagney and Lacey Emmy winner Sharon Glass when he popped up in the press room moments after she'd taken her award. Thirdly, you don't know me, I don't know you personally, but I must confess, if Ruth is not around my wife, I love you. <laughs> Milton knew he could only get away with a romantic overture to a blonde beauty because his own marriage is rock solid. He and lovely wife Ruth have become a Hollywood institution since their 1953 marriage. You'd better believe she's weathered her share of jokes about finally replacing his dominant mother. Why, even old friend Lucille Ball couldn't resist a good-natured tease about Ruth untying his mother's apron strings. This is our first date. And Ruth has forgiven me for having a date with you because she, too, had to go when your mother was alone. We try to make every, uh, every day a honeymoon day. 
Ruth ably demonstrated to Milton she can hold her own in humor soon after they wed. He told me he crept into a boudoir late one night with passion on his mind. We made love. She turned over, went to sleep. I got out of bed. And I thought I'd be a, a wise guy and a smart ass, right? You know, flippant Milton. It's only eight months after we married. And I, I took a hundred dollar bill and I went back into her room and I left the hundred dollar bill on the, her end table, right? Went to sleep. Next morning, she was up before I was and in my room, by my end table, there was $98 change. Milton, do you still sneak down the hallway even after the bypass surgery? Every man in America wants to know. Are you Dr. Ruth or Robin Leach? <laughs> now, what is this? Uh, yes, I do. Good. Of course, it don't work, but I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Since the mid-60s, Milton and Ruth's palatial Beverly Hills home has been where the heart is. When we moved in here, it looked like it was lived in. The first week, it looked like we had owned the house for 30, 40 years. The word is happiness, and I, I, I don't think it's the house. You know, you're going to have the most beautiful house in the world, and if you're not happy in it, don't mean a thing. Milton also has a home away from home, a favorite retreat both in Manhattan and Beverly Hills. It's the famed Friars Club. He's been a member since the 40s. First time I went into the Friars, I was 12 years old. It was 1920. I was taken in by Eddie Cantor, who took me in there, because I was a smart wise kid do with the one-liners and uh, he said to my mother I'll show you how smart the kid is I'm gonna take him in the fries she said maybe he's only a kid he was a hit then as now as honored president of the Friars Club Milton is a tireless fundraiser who with his cronies generates millions for charity we have a foundation Friars Foundation which contributes to, to many many charities all the monies that are taken in the black tie affairs and the functions are divided up so that we do very very good work there and I'm proud of the Friars Club very very proud I wrote a book ask me the title yeah Uncle Melty what is the title of your newest book it's called BS I love you Milton, can I politely ask what the BS signifies? It's not Barbara Streisand, and it doesn't stand for Barbara Stanwyck or Bobby Short. It's exactly what it stands for. BS, I love you. His book recounts untold adventures with the superstars at the Friars Club. The only thing missing will be the gala tribute from the legends of comedy. The gang's already all geared up to honor Milty at a wingding 80th birthday bash. Are you slowing down, Milton, or just like George Burns, you're already planning where you'll spend your hundredth birthday? Well, somebody said to Burns, oh, about ten years ago, he was 80. Yeah, well, he was 82, 81. He said, George, when are you going to retire? And he said, to what? Point taken, Uncle Milty. We doff our cap to the comedy genius who's made America laugh all his life, Milton Berle. Coming up, only the high rollers were invited to the Monaco extravaganza of Prince Renier. It, it takes a lot to impress the chic elite, but even they didn't stay strangers in the night for long. Plus, Jack Hayes spoofs 227 Sexy Sandra. Stay with us. masterpiece with your name on it waiting to be created at Sizzler's incredible all-you-can-eat pasta tostada and salad bar. Sizzler. Beverly Hills is more than you can imagine. I think Julian's in a lot of trouble. I just want my 50k. I'm the really book that tells it all <laughs> is now a motion picture. You've been busting your butt for Julian since day one, and it's a waste of time. Andrew McCarthy, Robert Downey Jr., Jamie Gertz, James Spader. Brace yourself for less than zero rated R. 
starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Ten little Indians make a big mess. Rental cleaners, that's one way, I guess. But Regina's found an easier way to clean carpets with a hot water spray. The Regina Beamer Carpet Cleaner. High traffic areas? Keep them clean. It's easy when you own a machine. The Regina Beamer Carpet Cleaner. Cleans whole rooms so deep, so fast, makes rental cleaners a thing of the past. For less than you ever thought you'd pay, clean your carpets the easy way. The Regina Beamer Carpet Cleaner. Vigilante justice hits the hill. You guys can't protect us. And Ferrillo blames the 6 o'clock news. Those 12 citizens downstairs would never have dreamed of forming a vigilante group unless somebody put the idea into their heads. Cover yourself. What are you looking at, football? It's because he's my partner, Harris. It's confrontation time on Hill Street Blues. Make your move. I love you, Phil. Hill Street Blues, tonight at 6 on Channel 2. and meeting lots of princes. So while school friends were tittering about kissing frogs, Jackie Harry was already planning to change her name, be a star, and become rich and famous. First experience with fame, as it's called, was in junior high school. I was in a play called The King and I. When I took my uh, curtain call, my bow, they screamed. And I said, ooh, this is nice. I like this. For a princess, a palace. As the star of the hit series 227, Jack Hayes' joy is to limo uptown in Tinseltown. She lets fantasy meet reality at one of the world's best hotels. Watch out, fellas. Welcome to the Century Plaza Hotel, Jackie. Thank you, Lincoln. I always love to come here. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Good. I love that uniform. Thank you. Very love men in uniform. Love it. Playing saucy, sexy Sandra on television has opened new doors for Jack Hay. Oh, yes. Oh, I love this hotel. You know, this is really me. Ooh, look at this. It's also given her a taste for the good life. Mmm, great. Ooh, my favorite champagne. Poor, poor, poor. I'm the youngest of five children. I decided that I really wanted to be a star. I wanted to be rich and famous. A fairy tale really did come true as her personal butler showed Jack Hay around the swish sweet. Can't wait for the boys come. <laughs> Jack Hay knows bigger is always better. The presidential suite spans the entire 30th floor of the Century Plaza Tower Hotel, a whopping 8,000 square feet in all. Oh, Beverly Hills. Oh. So I'm gonna buy my next house. A princess may be impressed by size, but never cost. Jack Hay barely batted an immaculately mascarid eyelash when she learned the room rate was $3,000 a night. The price of this hotel is phenomenal. But uh, this is a lavish, wonderful, affluent, fabulous, fabulous suite. And I'm sure President Reagan feels this way. He was here. Elton John was here. So I kind of go, well, Jack A was here. You know, next. She carefully sized up her personal chef and waiter, for this was no ordinary feast. Her guests were the two men who helped put her on top of the world, her agent and manager. So everything had to be perfect. You have people catering to you hand and foot. You, you have all of that. and. Uh, it makes you feel like, oh, oh, I'm a star. <laughs> Her business friends left after the last deal was cut, leaving Jack Hay to prepare for cutting loose. The in-house masseuse put the princess in a mood to receive her favorite gentleman caller. You can relax at, in the comfort of a, a, a plush hotel and show off. Say, come up, I've got a great room. And they get, oh, this is great, Jack Hay. Dressed to thrill, she was daydreaming about big bucks when her beau arrived. Oh, oh you're right on time. Yeah. For her prince had promised a money, no object banquet at the hotel chic restaurant and proved good as his word as one gourmet taste sensation followed another. You like to have your friends enjoy what you enjoy, and you enjoy them having fun like you do. And I feel good when they feel good. This is just the beginning being famous and rich. <laughs> it was a lifestyle truly fitting for the princess who dreamed of living the high life and won an Emmy as well.
ahead. The stars serve up a slice of the regal great life in Monte Carlo at a super sheet tennis championship that put the Hollywood headliners through their paces. Stay with us. I love to see you blush. Introducing Blush Chablis. I always find any time, but I love to see you, love to see you blush. Like it's that. the beautiful new wine from Gallo that captures what a blush is all about. One more time. New Gallo Blush Chablis. It's what happens when a white wine decides to blush. I love to see you blush. Kids, could you please go down to the freezer and bring up some Vandy Camps for dinner? Sure, Mom. Vandy Camps fish. They taste fresh because they're frozen fresh. Then they're dipped in crispy breadcrumbs or golden egg batter for a taste your family will love. For dinner? Once they catch them. <laughs> Henry, of course you're welcome. Kids, could you go down to the freezer and grab some more? Vandy Camps, the freshest ideas in frozen fish. You'll take thousands of showers in your lifetime, which can damage your skin. So use aloe and lanolin soap. Aloe is legendary for healing skin. So no matter how many showers you take, use aloe and lanolin soap from Jergens. Now there's a ketchup just for onion lovers. Introducing new Heinz ketchup and onions. Lots of chopped onions blended with America's favorite ketchup. If you love Heinz ketchup and onions, you'll love new Heinz ketchup and onions. Mmm, Aunt Jemima Butter Light Syrup. Take a bite. Now, isn't that too buttery thick to be light? Mm, yes. So, let's not call it Butter Light, but Butter Thick. Yes, that sounds right. Aunt Jemima Butter Thick. Yes. No, it is Butter Light. Aunt Jemima Butter Light and Light Syrups. In the morning. became the controversial Claus Celeb. With eerie psychic powers, he bedazzled even the cynics with international mind-over-matter-bending demonstrations. Then the Israeli-born phenomenon quit touring to explore new dimensions. Now, Yuri Geller is back with a best-selling book, The Geller Effect, and even more battling powers. I diverted my powers instead of bending spoons. I started looking for oil and minerals and gold. And I found it, not all the time. I fail also, but my um, way of uh, finding these minerals are way above the conventional weight. Yuri is richer for becoming every prospector's dream come true, but gorgeous daytime star Tracy Bregman talked him into demonstrating his famous mind-reading ability. She drew a shape on his book cover while he looked away. If I'm wrong, I'll just show it to the camera. But, but I did get a circle and I got something sticking out of it. Right. And, um, Do you want me to? Yeah, I want to see well, now what you got. Well, it's very, very close and I understand where you got this from. I'm okay. the worst drawer of all time. Well, look, I got, <laughs> I, I'll show but it this up. Is, I got it. This, yes, Except you did. Except you didn't draw the hair, and I drew the hair. It says smiley <laughs> I wanted face. to draw the hair, but I couldn't. <laughs> the young and the restless right. star then went one better with Perceptron, Yuri's new I, I psychic mean, exercise yeah. machine. So you have to guess what light is going to come up, and you'll have to press a button that you think is going to come it to light up. It was developed by two uh, laser physicists at Stanford Research Institute, and it was actually devised for NASA astronauts to um, sharpen their intuition. Good. Fantastic. So actually, your score is um, seven eight, which is um, you. You have an incredible insight. Will Tracy Bregman now psych out the villains on her soap opera? Only Yuri Geller knows, and he's not saying. Any invitation to come play in Monte Carlo is irresistible. But on palace paper from Prince Rainier of Monaco, ooh la la, that's a regal command to the rich and famous to have a ball in the jet set playground of the world and serve up a slice of the great life.
The prince rolled out the red clay for the stars to romp royal style in his paradise. Not even world traveler Stephanie Powers could quite pin down the magic of the picture-perfect principality that really does have it all. Is it the food? Is it the wine? Is it the royals? Uh -huh. What is it? It's the south of France. Um, it represents glamour and probably, I think, everybody uh, remembers Cary Grant and Grace Kelly in uh, Alfred Hitchcock's film, The Catch of Thief. And I think from those earliest days, you were, uh, Monte Carlo represents all of that absolute glamour that was. And still is! The all-star guests checked into Monte Carlo's most prestigious home away from home, the Hotel de Paris, famed for old-world elegance and one of the largest, most impressive wine cellars in the world. And outside, well, fancy cars to take your breath away and then some. Imagine being rich enough to order a Lamborghini as a fun Jeep. Now, at $200,000, that's freewheeling. On the celebrity terrace of the equally sumptuous Lomitage Hotel, television star Joanna Kearns was feeling no growing pains. It's beautiful. The hotels are beautiful, and the prince came down and welcomed us. And uh, It's really been a very special, magical time. It's great to come to Monte Carlo this way. Jane Seymour told me Magical Monte Carlo offers the ultimate in choices for the San Susi set. There's a lot to do. Uh, not just the things that you would do by the sea, the most wonderful food, great wines, uh, wonderful art to see if you want to. Um, it's just very classy. There's a reason to get dressed up if you feel like it, and also no reason to at all. It, it has everything. Another English rose was no stranger to the French Riviera. Jet setter Joan Collins juggles her busy schedule to be a regular at Rainier's retreat. When I'm living in London, I come to the south of France every weekend. And often I come to Saint-Tropez, where I have a house. But a lot of the times, I like to come to Monte Carlo because um, it's absolutely beautiful. And um, it's a, very much a little kingdom. It's much uh, more formal in Monte Carlo. Where flash meets cash, you can shop till you drop, then literally lose the designer shirt right off your back from gambling at the elegant casino. Take it from Roger Moore, trying to break the bank of Monte Carlo is double O dangerous. I don't go to the casinos anymore. I, I broke myself of the habit. Thank God I found that I was working to pay the pit bosses. I don't think you can break it on the bank of Monte Carlo, can you? Yeah. You need an awful lot of money to do it. I mean, really, I mean, you've got to have a lot of guts. I mean, you've got to have sort of about $400 million riding on the line. Why lose when you can lull? That was the jackpot for super sports car star Ahmad Rashad. I'm not a really big gambler, but I, I like the ocean and the mountains, and it's sort of nice, sort of tucked away. You feel that? Like, yeah, it's very nice here. Ahmad's wife had a hard time keeping a straight face over the antics of the other man in her life. Oh, God! <laughs> I asked Felicia if Bill was as wild and crazy on the Cosby Show. He's as wonderfully silly as ever. <laughs> and it's working for him, as usual. Have you, is this the first time you've seen a good man play, play yes. tennis? This is the first time I've seen Sir William play. And are you impressed or disappointed? I'm, I'm impressed. I had previously run into the vacationing wizard of Coz along the south of France. So I asked him what set Monaco apart and made it quite so magical. The, the food, you, you can come here and be on a diet and feel not left out at all. They'll do vegetables here for you, fish. Well, of course, it's fresh out of the water. Sometimes it's still moving. It's just wonderful. Yeah, you, can, you can't beat this. M maybe at a good rib joint in Chicago. <laughs> Do you think Monaco is the ultimate playground of the rich and famous? Well, I don't... You know, I was driving through here. I saw some poor people having a good time. <laughs> no kidding, Bill. When we return in a moment, you've got the best seat in the house at Monte Carlo's all-star royal party. Stay with us. Lancome invites you into the future of skin care with a scientific discovery. 
Neozorm System Antiage, a daytime skin treatment that helps recreate the structure of a young-looking skin. Neozorm is a system of microspheres that carry anti-aging ingredients to where your skin needs them most. Neozorm, used in the daytime, makes your skin look and feel younger than you ever thought possible. Neozorm, Lancome Paris. From the Lancome Collection, the Sock Sophisticate 1450 with any Lancome purchase. It must be at Macy's. Found my thrill. <laughs> Hyundai salutes the practical, sensible, non-frivolous youth of America. They've had the wisdom to purchase durable, reliable automobiles with front-wheel drive, room for five, and loads of standard features. All this at prices that start as low as $52.95. Congratulations, young people. And happy driving. Hyundai, cars that make sense. My mother, she had, she drinks a lot and it got me addicted. Drinking and taking me so far down, I had to get out of my house. It made me do things that I never thought I'd do. If I take one drink, I'm gonna take another and another because I can't control myself and I'll die. Hey, yo, alcohol is a drug and you can get hooked on it. And the younger you start, the more damage you can do. Word. I'm cool in my way, not by drinking. But now I can see going to college. Say no and say yes to your life. You're warmly invited to an exclusive tour of Monaco's Royal Palace with Prince Rainier on our next glittering edition. Prince Albert, the heir apparent, reveals the future plans. Skiing is believing. All the stars hit the slopes. The humble, mild-mannered clerk who overnight became a titled English Earl. Plus, Bruce Boxleitner, Jane Seymour, Diana Canova, and Robert Goulet. It's a gilt-edged invitation you must not miss! The stars most definitely wore out for Monaco's Royal Gala, and even our party animal was impressed. Just another evening in Monte Carlo. By Prince Rainier's standards, it was just another petite soiree for some of his closest chums. But a river of rotorous champagne was hoisted to turn the Wendell Niles tournament into an extravaganza of flaunting, flirting, and fun. And when they say all the stars come out to play in Monte Carlo, they really mean all the stars. No stranger in the Riviera night, Frank Sinatra revealed that Monte Carlo has long been his favorite tender trap. Another city that never sleeps. I try every year if I have the time to get away to come here. I think it's one of the most charming places in the world. And I've been fortunate that uh, for many summers I've had a chance to come for at least two weeks. Wow. So wonderful. Tracy Scoggins confessed it even outdid Dynasty luxury. This is very special. Very. Is it nice to be able to eat out under the stars and be in the company of royalty? And... It's just flawless. It's been a lovely event. Would you say this is the ultimate definition of the rich and famous? I think you may be right. A natural mom, my dear. But it's anything but serene when His Serene Highness throws a party. To make his Hollywood pals feel right at home, the prince flew in Clint Holmes from Hollywood to sing up a storm. When my baby, when my baby smiles at me, I go to Rio, De Janeiro, Miami. Next, an all-star charity raffle where the ladies drew the winning numbers. Gallic charm even on a spot. Then Joan Collins calls yeah. ticket holders' hearts to flutter. Oh, you made uh, yeah. Four. But Stephanie Powers drew the biggest bravo when she pulled a ticket that belonged to the chairman of the board's favorite Your lady. 003308. <laughs> 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 With Dazzle and Dash, Monte Carlo style, the festivities had officially begun. No amount of late night carousing could keep those old blue eyes off his wife's victory the next morning. For Barbara Sinatra, their visit to Monte Carlo was almost a homecoming. It's really magic. It's like uh, something that's out of history that you don't see every place. So uh, we've been coming here now on and off for about 15 years. I think. First, it started off with uh, our friendship with Princess Grace. And uh, my husband did uh, a couple of pictures with her. 
and we both loved her very, very much. And then we got to know uh, Prince Rainier and uh, the family. And uh, we just really enjoyed coming here to visit them and to see Monte Carlo, and we loved it. Roger Moore loved it so much he focused on the harbor. John Forsyth didn't F stop for a second to get his souvenir of life in the fast lane. Charlton Heston just had to put historic Monte Carlo in the picture. And Tracy Scoggins clicked with her favorite casino, Luck Be A Lady Tonight. From stars to salaried supermen, tennis is tops. The love match was a natural shoe-in for sneaker mogul Paul Fireman, who runs Reebok, co-sponsor with Gulfstream of the Games. Well, it's an outstanding area of the world, obviously. It, it holds uh, a unique value in the sense that it's uh, where, in fact, the great celebrities and great tennis should be taking place. The consumer perceives us to be in this arena. We feel it's appropriate to be here and, and complete the dream, so to speak. My dream was to thoroughly impress Stephanie Powers and Jane Seymour. But alas, this time, Bjorn Leach aimed too high. I'm afraid that's out. Say it ain't so. Outside. The real winners received their trophies from ever gracious Prince Rainier. Barbara Sinatra won the women's singles. Bernie Capel turned Love Boat into Love All in the men's singles. And Joan Collins won Spectator of the Year. But the ultimate prize belonged to the host supreme, the genial prince who invited the stars to play in the private paradise he loves. I think it's the past of Monte Carlo, the glamour of, of the old times, and I think it's what we can offer these visitors to come here. It's something quite exceptional in the world of today. And it's uh, calm, uh, security, comfort, quality. On our next edition, you'll get to see what the stars didn't see in Monte Carlo. You're invited to a very privileged visit with Monaco's royal family. The palace, the power, and the privilege included in our American television first. A world-exclusive interview with heir apparent Prince Albert. Don't miss it. 7 a.m. and Judy and Jeannie start cooking sausage. 7.05. Brown and Sir's ready. Jeannie's family uses Swift Premium Brown and Serve just five minutes from sizzle to serve. Why wait? Get Swift Premium Brown and Serve. Great taste without the weight. Split an onion. Wrap half in saran wrap. Wrap the other half in any other plastic wrap. Smell. If saran wrap doesn't keep odor in better, we'll refund your money and buy you the wrap of your choice. Saran wrap. Nothing protects food better. We guarantee it. Crazy glue. Strong enough to hold this man suspended in midair. Bonds almost anything. A fishing reel, a jewelry case, a broken heel, a funny face, a special bracelet, earrings too, a tennis racket, good as new. From Maryland to Texas, Detroit to old St. Louis, the country's gone crazy, crazy, crazy glue. We're fixing and repairing, things are looking good as new. The country's gone crazy, crazy, crazy glue. Regina proudly announces the discovery of something obvious. If you take the best part of this vacuum cleaner yeah, and stick it onto this one, you get something much better. Introducing the Regina Housekeeper. Housekeeper. It cleans floors and then switches instantly to clean here and here and everywhere. Accessories cost extra, but you'll never touch a vacuum again once you get a housekeeper. Commodore Amiga 500 home computer. Dazzling animation at your command. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, a multitasking home office in your hand. I am the Commodore Amiga 500. Total home video you control and arcade quality games in stereo. And now, you can be everything I am. Call 1-800-87-AMIGA or see your Amiga dealer for a free home video demonstration. Only Amiga makes it possible. Thank you for joining us. I'm Robin Leach, and I don't know why. With champagne wishes and caviar dreams, we all look forward to being with you on the next edition of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Coming up next, Hill Street Blues, right here on Channel 2.